Hello everybody and welcome back to my loft. As you can see I'm not sitting at my table right now but it is back there. I am going to be doing something quite special. It's not normal but I don't think anything is that normal around here. But what I'm going to be doing is beading. I have this whole case of beads right here and I'm going to be making bracelets, maybe even a necklace. I think I will, but we'll kind of see what happens. And I'm going to get started by, um, I guess, opening up this huge bead case. Okay. Now that all my beads are laid out, I'm going to grab a string. But first, I guess I should really plan out a bracelet. Hmm. I'm thinking I make a bracelet first. And let's see. I'm going to plan this out first. I am ready to plan. I have a huge selection of beads and a pad and a marker so I can plan out my first bracelet. I'm thinking we can go for maybe some sort of candy vibe. So we can have like maybe red bead. I'm gonna make a little key right here so we know where everything is. And then we can even put, it. I think I'm gonna use these, they're little gummy bears. So I'm just gonna make a little BAM. That's gonna stand for gummy bear beads. So I'm thinking maybe I could do red, white, And then I could have this could be stand for pink, maybe. Red, white, pink. And then repeat the pattern and then we get to um, when we get to the middle, we can add a Hmm, I'm trying to think what would go best. What color? That is the question. We have a selection of colors. Hmm. I think I'm going to do a pink one right here, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good decision. Um, so let's get beading. So I found my scissors, I cut it out and I taped it to the paper. You'll see what I did that. And now we're going to follow our pattern, which is red, white, pink. And then when we reach about the middle, I guess we'll put the gummy there thing. Bye, Bobby. All right, so of course this is me beading. I did realize that I do not have any pure white beads that are shaped like the red and pink ones, so I just had to go with it. I put 15 beads on each side, and then the 15, and then here's me adding the gummy bear. And then I added the other 15. And then now all I have to do is go and Tie it. Okay, here is the finished product. We have our gummy bear keychain, keychain with all pink and red. And here's it on a wrist. And I think it looks pretty good. And I think it's ready to get started on another one. Except this time, I think it's going to be a necklace. Here's my plan. I have 
this charm. I mean, yeah, it's basically a charm. There's a little hole in it, and basically I decorated this. It's like wooden. So I'm going to use a long thread of string to make the necklace, and then add the little butterfly on the front. This one's gonna be very, very simple. So this time lapse is going to be very short. That was quick. That one was pretty, very, very simple. Here's it and here is it on me. Does it look good? <laughs> so I think even though this necklace was pretty simple, I did put time into the bead. So, you know, it's the time that counts. Not the time putting it together, but the time making it happen. <laughs> time to get planning. Um, I think since I did a bracelet and I did a necklace, the two um, two different types of jewelry, I think this time I'm going to do a ring. So for rings, I think I should put one thing on one side, or two, two things on one side, something in the middle, and two more things. And that can be our ring. I think that will be pretty good. So now we have to decide what color it is. Um, I'm thinking in the middle, we could have like a, um, one of these right here. So in the middle, we can make a bunch of swirls to, to signify that thing. And then on one side, we can have Okay, massive idea. I mean, not massive, it's a ring. Can't make it that massive, but we can have two white on this side because, you know, there's white on our main bead. And then, if you're getting where I'm coming from, you'll kind of know what I'm about to do. But, into my miscellaneous. And I'm going to try to find two black I'll find them and then get started. So I couldn't find black ones that were the same shape as the white ones. So I just had to use a different shape white ones and round black ones. Here is the finished product. And here is what it looks like for any finger. Very pretty. I do say so myself. And I think that's all the jewelry I'm going to be doing today. Um, you know what? No. I'm gonna make one more. I'm going to make a bracelet. But I'm not gonna use these beads. I'm gonna use those. Those thingies right there. All right, I'm gonna go get those out now. Okay, and I'm going to plan. There we go. So my bracelet is going to follow a pattern, of course. I think it's going to be pink, red, pink, red, pink, red, pink. So basically it goes pink, red. Um. Oh, I know. Pink, how about, since we couldn't do it with our bracelet, but we were going to, white, pink, no, red, white, pink. All right, I will get to work. Rainbow Room uh, bracelets actually take a lot of time, and this time lapse may only be a couple of minutes, maybe even less, but this took at least half an hour definitely more 
more than half an hour and yeah I'm really kind of proud of it I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Bye!